guys, what's up? It's your girl Raven Melinda and we are with 16 Entertainment TV. And I am so blessed and honored to be sitting next to Callie Pitts right here. What do, what do, what do, what do. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, Miss Lady. Good, good. Okay, so I need you to tell me a little bit about you. Like what I was listening to you kind of directing in there, you know, with um, mm -hmm. Tiffany. And so I know you're an artist as well. So can you give me a little plug? Give me something about you? Um, well, with me, my background, um, I came in with South Central Quartel back in the early 90s. I was the youngest kid in the group. But, okay. Uh, I'm pretty much, I don't think I was the youngest cat on Def Jam with three deals at the same time. Um, wow. I, I was pretty much, you know, the, 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 uh, the prince of the 90s. I, I ran the game with, you know, most of the top notch West Coast rappers, you know what I mean? So. Cali Pitts has been here a long time. A lot of people might know me as Young Prodigy, though, but okay. you know what I'm saying? But Cali Pitts, that's what I go under now, and you know, I'm just doing a lot. As far as Tiffany go, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I write a little R&B. A lot of people wow, don't know that. Wow, that was beautiful in there. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, that's what I'm just here doing. I'm a guest right now, just, you know, working okay. on her project. I see. So what, what inspired you? Um, you said you were the youngest uh, member back then. What, what was your inspiration? What inspired you to to do music like what brought you to this i mean back then and i'm talking about back then i'm born you know in the 70s so wow you it, don't look it oh <laughs> my gosh what, it, what inspired me to do music is <laughs> like growing up uh in in our households and black households back then i'm pretty much probably any household but black households music was a part of of, of the everyday just get by you know without exactly. music you probably would have been depressed in a lot of them times because i grew up very poor like very poor dirt poor so music was just just something that gave us hope and when my brother started um, actually taking it seriously to where he was doing it for mm -hmm. a living I had the talent so I, I put my foot in the game and he, but music is just it's just a part of my life just just getting by in every day so this gift was just all this was just a born gift this is God. something this is something that you like I always say this is what you are anointed with because I say any artist it, it comes from somewhere and it's always somebody who have motivated you and got you there. So what projects are what we have to look for in 2019? What's going on? Well, right now we just dropped a new South Central Cartel EP called To The West. It's on all social media outlets, new okay. video out, Stay In Your Lane. Um, another single out called um, Run It Up. LV and Prodigy, everybody don't know LV from Gangsta Paradise with Coolio. They got an mm. album coming out. Um, okay. Right now we got my son. Right now he's uh, he in college, but he also producing and he's working on projects wow. with his friends. And you do not have a child in college, or you look so young. I my got grandkids, goodness. are you serious? You know, oh no! <laughs> wow, you look awesome. Okay, great. Uh, let let me let you continue. Be blessed. Be blessed, blessed I'm saying. But, um, you know, just 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 keeping it keeping it moving. Far as this music go, you know, a lot right. of this West Coast music is swept under the rug. If you're not one of the high profile artists, but mm -hmm. it's still it's still it's still going on. And, and and it's still poverty in the ghetto that's that need to be um, spotlighted. It's like with a lot of music nowadays, people don't seem to think that it still struggles. Everybody flossing right. and fancy now, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of um, you know poverty stricken things going on in the ghetto that really need to be addressed still. So okay. that's one of our main platforms. We uh, got our own record label, HG Records. Um, we distribute through Empire. Um, looking for the new youth to come and you know get yeah. down, man. And, but but get down with it with a purpose and a cause, not not get down for the self destruction. You know. Right. So it's more on the. I love that you're speaking on. It's the empowerment too. It's this uplifting and all that. So would you say your music has a lot of social or a lot of political, like things that and cultural things that's going on? Or what do you what do you stamp your music with? What is the message um, that you? I don't, I, uh, to me, I don't stamp my music with nothing. I don't think music is made to be stamped by anyone, any right. culture, any anybody saying. See, music is something to, that just speaks to the individual as right. they hear it. You know what I mean? Um, my music, I don't, I don't like. I said I don't like to stamp no no type of vibe on it because I'm gonna do music. Like yeah. like right now, like we heard Tim. Uh, Tim she got uh, the. Um, the remix to Selena, you know what I mean? Wow. So, um, body was it body bee bomb, whatever that song called, but Bitty bee bomb, bomb. Yeah, right? There we go. But, I love you, but, Selena. But I remember the song though. It's, it's a joint, it's you know. A classic, what I mean? yes. So I'm the type of they was like rap on that. Then yeah, I get on there. I'm a rap wow. on that, like you know what I mean. So 
but it's, it's people who would assume that I should stick to a, a, a path because I came with SEC that that wouldn't fit me. But Absolutely you know, this not. is music. Music is made You're to an touch and, and and be and be and be spread it amongst people. But I don't put my music in a box, man, because then I put exactly. myself in a box. Exactly. Yeah, artist creates. It doesn't. I don't see any place that you should be in a box. You know. Okay, so. Definitely that song, that sounds great. But let me, let me do say, rappers should be in a box. That's why they call rappers. Yeah. They supposed to be boxed up. Like, yeah, they elaborate do. on rappers, that. Rappers do a certain thing, artists right. create. Right. You know? and, and it's a difference. Like, they okay. got, it's like a, a, a printer to a painter. Okay. You know, a printer can do a thing and it, and it can kind of do that same thing it do. Great, it can print a picture over and over and over. But right. it can't create like an artist. Exactly. So rappers are printers and artists are artists. Wow, that's a that's a whole nother way of putting it. But I just I, I see you as that artist, the way that you're speaking. Like I let me um let me fix the, what I'm saying. Like um I don't okay, we're letting that close. Anyway, so let me go back to what I'm saying. Like I see you as an artist and I don't wanna say a stamp, but it's just the way that you're speaking, it's very conscious, it's very, you know, like it's relevance that you're speaking that we still need to speak of is that not just speaking on the surface, you know, of what you're saying, like the glam of it. It comes from your core of a person, and that's where you're speaking from. And it's it's very beautiful to hear someone. And I say artist because you guys always have a canvas, and you're always doing something beautiful. Like I seen you in there doing that, and I'm like, wow. You said hit this, don't do that, and as a rapper to do that with R and B. Like that is a gift and that was that was very very impressive. So what is it that you want to tell your fans if it's one message that you can you can really get out there to cuz I I know our music has changed so much. What message would you like to give your fans out there to keep them lifted or to keep them to keep them going? What is what is that been for you? Honestly, if you're a true fan of mine, then do more for other people. Okay. Don't don't ignore your eyes. Like when you see somebody doing bad, try to help. You see somebody, you know what I mean? And not put don't put yourself in a in a in a jeopardizing situation. But mm -hmm. what I'm just saying is that do more for other people. Exactly. Just 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 do more because that's how the world gonna get better. Not not by people fakely protesting or uh, mm -hmm. the fake Black Lives Matter that don't seem to exist no more. Um, it came and went. The rappers that protested and was in and and you know police stations at the time when it was when everybody was yelling i'm looking for the cat because i'm the type of dude i'm gonna yell when everybody quiet right so so you that. hear me you know where it's coming from you know who said it you know who yelled i don't i don't i don't mind people getting together and making a bigger noise but once 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 that initial situation is over where is the where is the, the screaming where is the yelling because it's still ass whooping some things going on in these streets and and, and, and in these poverty stricken neighborhoods to right. where you know what i'm saying to people not speaking when this need to be spoken and so exactly. black lives matter and all those things that's just shams man i, I saw people going to black lives matter, uh, matter rallies just to meet girls because they knew girls was going to be there and wow. shit. like you know what I mean? And, and this is facts. And this is the type of things that I try to bring to the forefront of because this is what's Thank really you. going on. Right. You know what I mean? Not 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 the the um the the bunch of people we seen shutting down freeways that didn't get us nowhere, didn't get us nothing. Mm. Didn't get us nothing. I'm 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 still looking for that cause to still be mad. So I I don't try to say my music conscious because once I do that, then they gonna put me in a box and say I'm a conscious rapper. You know what I mean? And then I don't want to come out being angry and militant because then I'm angry nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just keep doing this music and, 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 and a little advice for you, like, take that question out of your, out of your. Take the question take out. Take the question out because don't, I, I, tr I go on radio stations and I, sh and I watch them help artists self-destruct. Mm -hmm. they asking you questions about men you don't know, asking your opinion about another person you don't know, another person business who we don't really focus on these guys or any you know anybody else business in the day in the music business. Most music people don't. Mm -hmm. They don't pay they really pay attention to nobody in the, else in the music business. They just doing their thing, right? Right. So when you go on radio stations and they, it's like a setup for questions to self destruct, and I get it. It's gonna be it's gonna be ratings for them. It's gonna be, I get that, but. Then you, like I say, you can't go around saying Black Lives Matter when you help create a beef. 
right. or, or you help bring somebody into a beef. You know what I mean? And then when they get to shooting and when they get to fighting and all these things, these kind of questions, it produces these kind of um, outcomes. You know what I mean? So try not to put an artist in a box. Definitely, because I'm an artist myself. So right, me, I don't, I don't believe in boxes. I feel like an artist is a person that that is a creator. And, and like I told you, like I don't, I don't want to say socially or politically, or I'm not trying to put you in a box either. I just want to clear that up. My thing is, I hear I'm a person. I listen because I'm a writer. Right. So the words that I hear coming from your mouth is is not from from this glam side you're a person you are an individual you are your own person you are a spirit so when i hear you speaking of what you were saying like you just dropping all this knowledge of relevance it's coming not from out here or no fakeness it's coming from your heart from your soul so when i hear that like and even i want to just say and challenge you because i want to see that because a lot of people like you don't exist and don't even speak of these things and it needs to be said i challenge you to do that conscious to do all these different genres of things because we need that from you because what you say to me like i'm deep i'm a very deep sister so i feel what you are saying i've been there done that all of that so i challenge you this is the box Excuse my mouth, kick that shit over. Yeah, you are, like I said, this is your canvas right here. You creating what you want the world to hear from you, your journey, and your experience. Because your spirit is genuine. But I see, but the thing is, I, I'm not going to run into many VJs like you. <laughs> you understand? So when I say that, I didn't say, I don't say it in no disrespect. I no, say it in not the aspect all. of. A yeah. person like me will need a person like you to understand what I'm saying to, to not to not take it in, in no type of, 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 of disrespect or any way. No, just just all, understand yeah. what I'm when I say about the boxes because yeah. If, if if I if I said okay, she a BJ, I met her and she was she was hosting a video show, right? right. But then the homie be like when she told me she rap, I be like, man, she ain't no rapper, she a <laughs> BJ. I didn't put you in the box. I'm not even gonna let you grow. I'm not even gonna let you fly because I'm putting you in the box. Right. And, and that's what and that, that's what most of society want yeah. us all to do. Exactly. Find your box, get in it, and, and, and hide from everybody else in the world. You know, but we can't do that. We, we got to keep pushing the envelope of being mm. being, being being human beings, being Thank black, you. being black, African Americans, whatever, but being human beings. Exactly. Because no matter what our agenda, don't move if this agenda with human beings don't get fixed. Yes. Thank you. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Every, everything we do and we saying it, it is a purpose. This right here is a purpose. This conversation is a purpose. Right. I understand. I understand the, the, the way this world laws work. Right. This universe laws work, not right. this world, because this world is man-made. What we living in. Right. You know what I mean? Not what we living on. What we living in. Thank you. It's a big, <laughs> Very big mean? difference. You better uh, copyright what you just said right now, because that right there need to be spread all over the world. But I want to thank you because. I I salute all my, my 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 like I said I say artists because that's what you you are and you like I said like your soul and your energy is is different and that's what makes that's what makes this music and make this make what you're doing so much more impactful and I want to thank you for being that person. I appreciate you. And I think we need to. All, I mean, I always thank my brothers. I thank my people all the time for saying what you're saying because you're not afraid and that's what it that's what we need you you have that platform where you give that to the people and like i said i challenge you to do all that because i'm following yeah see you then that's what that's what we need to do hold me accountable for the things i said to you thank you you know what i mean because right that's that's the problem once 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 the once the the, the hoopla gone nobody's accountable of the, the, the things that they said they was going to stand for so hold me accountable now. Nah, you it got is, it. Man. I know you got it. So let's get back to this music part. Yeah, because we all at <laughs> Right, you know, but that conversation was going needed. Going that needed to be released. That was something that somebody needs to hear. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that, like, to the fullest, my king. Like, I appreciate it. Salute you all the way. But with um, the music is okay. So, yeah, we just went on a yeah, great sorry, journey, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> no, that was needed. That took me. You got me sitting different now. I was trying to sit a different way. But 
Okay, back to um. So, um, what events uh, are coming up? I know you said you have a show coming up. I, I need well, you right now. Um, yeah. I got a show downtown LA. Awesome. Don't exactly know where it's at, but I'm gonna be there. Um, okay. But right now, SEC, we got a tour for Brazil coming up. We're gonna be wow. doing that. Um, Congratulations. We ain't performing at the Fresh Fest, but we gonna show up. You right. know what I mean? Um, we gonna be in the building. We just gonna be everywhere. This West Coast music is at. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about. This West Coast music. No disrespect to no one else's, but we West West. This is where I live. Let <laughs> you know, somebody send that plane ticket. It's West Coast, man. You know Thank what I mean? You. So we need that. You know, that's what we gonna be doing. Just wherever, wherever you see the West Coast at, you definitely gonna see Cali Pitts in the building. Hey, Cali Pitts. Hey, King. Hashtag King on that too. Okay, so um, I definitely, we're gonna wrap this up, but I do want to make sure that, you know, everyone, are, your fans and everyone can follow you. So is there any plugs, how we can find you? I'm, I'm gonna make it simple, man. Google me, Cali Pitts, C-A-L-I-P-I-T-T-S. Every social media gonna pop up. It's just simpler for you. He said, Google Cali Pitts, you gonna find him. So that right there speaks alone. So I wanna thank you so much, Cali Pitts. Thank you, I, I don't even Appreciate want a handshake, you. I want a hug. Like that, like that was no, it was up. needed. I want to let you know that I appreciate what you said and I love it. So I'm going to wrap that up. I want to thank you for having this interview and make sure you check us out and find those clubs. All right, y'all. I used to be in the game from day one. Um, I've seen all the phases of it. I watched the um, West Coast rise and I watched it fall. The artist is the lowest one on the food chain. To me personally, you know, because you got artists that been doing music forever and they broke as hell. Bootlegging is out of control with the digital bootlegging of records. It's so easy to download a record or music, whatever it is, illegally, that unfortunately kids are doing it and uh, they're depriving artists of their rightful royalties. There's artists out there that don't want to see you achieve because they feel like if you achieve, you might go above them. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to see you go above them. Right. So they want to keep you down in the bottom of the barrel. Mm -hmm. instead of up top with them because they're greedy. Yeah. They don't want you to have nothing. Without y'all, there'd be no us. Back then in day one, we didn't have no street team. We won, the artist was the street. We, was the, we wrote the songs, we produced the song, we rapped on the songs, we mixed the songs, you know, we managed, we marketed, we promote, we did everything, everything was us. And if you was good with your street hustle, you was good, it was, you know, you was good with your music hustle. They're just not giving us no respect that, you know, we helped make this hip hop too. Bottom line, let's make this shit happen then.